Hey guys, so today I'm here at ATUZ uh, to pick up some V12 adapters. Uh, so it's their new models, they're releasing it now. And um, I know the owner as well. I uh, tested uh, his other product, which is the uh, uh, Tesla to uh, J1717, sorry, J1772 adapter, um, which worked really well. So today A2Z is a new uh, V12 adapter to test on my Ionic 5. And since I'm also done my setup at home for the uh, transformer panel, I can actually test it out with my uh, home grid uh, to see if it works. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go inside, grab them, and then uh, we'll go home and uh, do the test and see uh, how they perform. All right, guys, so I got the uh, adapter here. Uh, it comes in a little, nice little box here. Simple box, A to Z EV sticker on it. And once you open it, you have a little pouch where the adapter um, comes in. Uh, so let's just try to open this up. Okay. So if you guys remember the first prototype, I had a first pro prototype. Um, it was a little different because uh, this was upside down. So they made some modifications and it looks much better. So obviously this one opens up. The ground is at the bottom here. So that's really good. The old one used to have an international plug. This is uh, a North American plug here. And the reading here, as you could see, uh, it says 20 amperes, guys, but it goes up to 16 amperes. That's the max the car can actually um, provide anyways. Uh, and this is standard for uh, 120 for the uh, North American plugs. So nice build here. Um, you have a mechanism here to unlock and lock. There's no on and off switch, uh, contrary to the Hyundai or the Electron uh, V2L, which I find is somewhat better for me because um, I don't see the usage of having an on off switch. It's uh, I find this relates more of a plug you use on a household plug, right? So you just plug it in, plug it out, and that's it. If you want to unplug this, you just have to unlock the car and then just take it out, you know, which is fine. So I don't see the necessity of a plug. Is it for safety reasons? I don't think so. Usually if at this rating for 16 amperes, guys, I don't think this is going to be a big issue. Uh, so yeah, looks like a nice build here. Uh, let's go try it out on the car. And uh, I also have my general generator panel that's already installed as well. So we can do a full test here, uh, plugging it to my house. So let's do that. So right before we test this product here, guys, uh, we do have a free giveaway for this. Um, one of the A2Z V2 L adapter. Um, so three things you have to do, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And I want to know in the comment section below, why do you need the V2L? I just want to know your use cases. I usually want to power my houses. I'm in my house here. Um, what do you do with the V2L? What would you do with the V2L? Uh, just interesting to know uh, what folks out there use the uh, would use the V2L adapter for. There's not a lot of cars out there that are actually capable of doing V2L uh, capabilities. Uh, so just interested to know. Uh, so three things, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and just write in the comment section uh, what would you use it for. And uh, I would say in a few days, once we, uh, we have a few comments, uh, let's say two, three days, um, we'll do a draw. We'll choose someone randomly and uh, we'll have a free V2L sent to you uh, directly from the company as well. So that's very nice of uh, A2Z. Uh, they, they, uh, I asked them and they said yes. So if you don't ask, the answer is always no. So I asked them and they said, yeah, sure, why not? So we'll, uh, the viewers here, the subscribers here, will get a free V2L, one of you guys. So yeah, now let's get to the, uh, to the setup and I'll show you guys how uh, this works. So let's open up the car here, the port. So that's done. Uh, the car is charged at 60%. Uh, so it should be an issue. And I'm doing this with one hand. Um, so what you want to do is just plug it in, just like you would plug your charger. And you would hear a click, which is the locking mechanism. And here you go. The V2L starts working. Uh, let's go see in the front uh, what it displays. All right, so it does work. Transferring V2L, and we're at 59% charge for the car. Uh, so let's try and plug in uh, this uh, to the uh, to the house. So before I plug it in, I just want to show you guys my setup here. Uh, so what I did is I usually just had a panel here. Uh, so since the last ice storm, 
uh, I decided to um, connecting the car to the grid and finding a way to do so in the safest way. And in Canada, and especially in Quebec, the only way you can do this is with not a transfer switch, but a generator panel. It needs to cut the neutral from the um, uh, from the actual panel. So what you want to do is ask for an electrician to come and install this. Um, so pretty much you take the load off from this panel and you transfer them here. And then afterwards, you have this panel here, which feeds, let me just show you here, 60 amperes here. So 60 amperes, this goes to this panel. It's being fed here. And then you have another panel, I mean, another wiring here, which is being fed by here, which is the generator inlet. Uh, in this case, I put uh, 30 amperes here. And this is how you can plug in your car to your house safely without any issues. Uh, so obviously you want to calculate the load on what you want. In my case, I have right now one, two, three, four, five, six circuits. And these are 15 amperes each. Obviously, if these ran all at the same time, it won't work at all, guys, because obviously the max for the car is 15 amperes, so you can only run one circuit. But I've tested everything, guys, here. Usually nothing runs over 15 amperes, even all together. It's usually plugs, lights. Uh, the fridge, which barely takes anything, the refrigerator, and it's really small stuff. Even the furnace, for I have a gas furnace, so the electrical fan on the furnace is barely 200, uh, 200 watts. Let's say you do have a power outage. What you do is you turn this off, and then you can turn this on here. So that's the mechanism here, the interlock mechanism. That's fat, factory made, so this needs to be CSA for Canada. Um, so factory made. So that means even if you take out this panel, I mean the door panel, the um, interlock is still connected. So it's, it's safe. So what you want to do is let's say you have a power outage, turn this off, you turn this on, and then you can plug in the car um, directly. So how do you plug in the car from the V2L to the generator inlet? And that's a pretty tricky one because this is a two-phase panel, but the car is only one phase. So the trick is, you want to get first this one here. This is an MF515, which is the regular plug. So you want to get an adapter from 515 to you want to get here to 530. So that's the first step. So you'll be able to plug in this 2D uh, A to Z V2L uh, from 515 to 530. Then afterwards, you want to get the 530 here. So you have a 530 male here. Let me see if I can zoom in here. So a 530 male here to a 1430 female here. And this will switch from a one phase to a two phase. So that's kind of neat here. But you still have to limit it. You're not going to get anything 240 here. So that's not the point here. It's just so you can power both sides of this panel by having two phase here. So that's the second step here. So you want to plug this in. And then afterwards, obviously, the best way is to have the general cable, depending on how far your car will be. So this will plug in into your 1430 here. And finally, this one goes into your generator inlet, and you plug it in. So that's pretty much the setup here. Let me just show you guys here. So this goes to the car. This transfers into, into a two-phase. And then afterwards, this goes to the generator inlet which then powers all the breakers here in the house. So that's how you do it. So let's just try it out actually and see uh, if it works. All right guys, the setup is done. So you have the A2Z V12 plugged in with my setup here that's connected to the generator inlet. Uh, which is connected to the panel here. Right now it's still feeding from the um, uh, from hydro here, um, from the utility line. So in this case, what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to turn this off and we'll go upstairs and I'll show you that one of the lights um, that's connected, you know, on the main floor is not working. And then I'll turn on um, the V12 here for, for, I mean, the electricity from the, uh, the Ionic 5. And you'll see that the, uh, the circuits are working and the lights actually turn on. So let's turn this off here. So that is off. 
and I'll sh show you guys which circuit it is plugged in. And sorry guys for the mess. All right, so yeah, this light here, as you can see, it does not work. So let's just go back. And power the house. There you go. So now it's powering from the V2L. Oh, I can already tell that this light is working. There you go. This light is working and all the other lights are working guys. So it is powering the house. I did not check the load. There's a lot of things that were plugged in. Let's just see how much it's pulling. Oh, not bad. So we're at 0 0.2 kilowatt. This can go pretty high at 1.7, 1.8 kilowatt. So no issues with this. Uh, so yeah, this works really well. We're very happy with the, uh, with the V2L. It's applying the power as it should. No issues here. It's just the connection here. Uh, since my connection is pretty heavy here, maybe I should just put a support here just to uh, take off the pressure from the, uh, from the cable here. But uh, other than that, safe connection in case you have any uh, power emergency, power outage, or like me a few weeks ago, I had a ice storm. This setup works really well. So if you want to remove the V2L adapter, once you've removed your cable that's plugged in here, what you want to do is you want to press this so you can stop the uh, actual uh, V12 process. And once that's stopped, just unlock the car and this should come off. So that's a very specific uh, procedure, but it does work. So what you want to do is cut off the actual process with the V2L and unlock the car. And this comes up very easily. So that's how you unplug the V2L the A to Z V2 all from the Ionic 5. That's it folks, hope you liked the video. So like I mentioned before, uh, if you wanna do a setup with the generator panel, it has to be done by a certified electrician. Uh, there are some specifications that are different in Quebec as well. Um, some rules are different, so you have to make sure a master electrician installs this. Uh, but once it's done guys, this is amazing. You can plug in a generator or even your Ionic 5 like, you, like I showed you uh, to power up your house. Uh, so in general, the A2Z V12 works very well in my opinion, especially that it's a Canadian company, uh, especially here in Quebec. Um, met with the owner as well, had a quick chat with him. So he's really, really passionate about you know the products uh, they make. Um, so and it shows you know in the, in the in the delivery and what they do. Um, and this is the second product I have from them. I had the uh, Tesla to J1772 uh, adapter as well, which works amazingly well and no issues so far. Um, so yeah, let me know, uh, what do you, what do you think of the setup here? Um, would you have done it differently? Uh, any advice is always a welcome, uh, always looking for, uh, for feedback. Uh, is there any other videos I should be doing? Let me know in the comment section, uh, as well. And what do you think? Um, cause there are three products on the market as well. There's the Hyundai, um, the, uh, original OEM V2 adapter. And there's also the Electron V2L adapter, which I also tested, which is amazing. And now we have a third one, which is which also works really well, the A2Z. So let me know um, if you try the other ones as well. Uh, so far, I think they're all equally uh, as good. It comes down to the to the pricing uh, for you and um, the quality that you're looking for and the features you're looking for. The only difference for this one is there's no on-off button, but like I mentioned. It works just like a household plug. You don't have an on off button at, at home as well. So does it work for you? If it does, then this is something that you should definitely look uh, into.